Hi, I'm Rachel Wynn, and today I am going over my May mid-month budget. So it's the middle of the month. It is time to see how I'm doing, see how I'm spending, see how I'm earning for this month so far. Maybe we can make some predictions on how I'm going to do for the month by month's end. So if you are new to my channel, I am on a journey to get out of my student loan debt and lose some weight along the way. And um, this is my budget. So this is more about the financial side of things. So if if you would like to join in on either one of those journeys or both because they do go hand in hand, go ahead and click that red subscribe button down below. So let's just get into the budget. All right, the first thing I am going to show you is my known allocations. This is just kind of like my fixed expenses section other than my extra student loan payment. But um, I guess it's fixed expenses and those things that don't really fit into any other category. So for church, I have um, given $60 so far. Um, just so you know, everything is as of the 15th of May. And I do not have any notes, so that was the other thing. I have put $1.46 in my savings. This is simply my interest that I earn from my Capital One 360 accounts. I love my Capital One 360 accounts. I highly recommend them. I have a link down below in the description that you can use to sign up. You get a free $25. I get a free $20. It's a win-win for all of us. And um, the website is so easy to use. And it's just really, really simple to transfer money back and forth between my checking and savings accounts. And I do actually use credit cards as well um, to earn cash back bonuses. I do not pay any fees. I do not pay any interest. Um, you'll have to check out my um, how to use credit cards responsibly video to see um, how I actually use my credit cards. But um, I use two different Capital One credit cards. And so all of that is on my homepage when I open that up um, along with my two savings accounts. One of them is my sinking funds and then my checking, checking account and my two credit cards. Like all of those accounts are right there. I love it because it's just so easy to see everything. So anyway, I only have $1.46 that went to savings. Um, it's just the interest earned. My rent, I pay my undergraduate uh, payment for my student loans on that. My parents are paying that back, but since I live at home with my parents right now, um, I pay my undergrad payment because it's it's about what I would pay in rent to my parents. They kind of make up the difference. And so I pay two seventy three sixty six, and then my graduate loans, those are all on me 100%. So those are the loans that I am focusing on and paying back currently right now. So my regular payment is one ten twenty four. I only only make my extra student loan payment at the very end of the month and that is because I just in case things happen like if something comes up I want to be able to use that extra money to go towards any kind of emergencies on top of my emergency fund I actually have a minimal $500 emergency fund I want to be able to have more you know by using my snowball payment basically so for my extra checking account, I don't add anything to it. That is just my buffer account to access my sinking funds in my Capital One 360 accounts. I have already put $230.50 towards my sinking funds. I decided to go ahead and put that more at the beginning of the month rather than wait until the end like I normally do, just because um, you'll see later I've already used some sinking fund money and I wanted that to go ahead and be in the account to use and then hp instant inc that came out is 529 then my verizon bill has not been paid yet that actually comes out at the end of the month for my gas allocation i got gas on may 9th for 24 22 um, i'm gonna need gas again soon but I, i've only gotten it once so far this month for my groceries allocation i spent 22.62 at walmart and then 1654. Oh, whoops, that's actually snacks. So I get reimbursed for that. But in total, I have spent $39.16 and I still have $60.84 left in my budget for groceries. I actually plan on using some of this to maybe to buy some things for me to have here at home once school is out, but we'll see. But as far as any food that I need at school, I don't need it because we only have a week left of school. So um, it's, it's kind of exciting. <laughs> I'm ready for school to be out. I'm ready for the summer. For my teaching allocation, I spent $49.82 at Scholastic and I still have $50.18 left in my budget for um, teaching supplies, anything that I want to get from my classroom. I don't actually think that I'm going to use any of that. I, 
I don't think there's anything that I need for the end of the year. I know I had mentioned about possibly getting things for my students like an end of the year gift but I don't know if I'll do that or not. So in my spending allocation, I spent $9 on May 6th. I met up with Wendy Valencia here um, from here on YouTube. She was actually in Louisville, Kentucky. She was here on business and um, we just like, we had to meet up of course, because like how many times do you have the opportunity to meet up with somebody on YouTube? And she is so wonderful, such, such a sweet, sweet, sweet person. And um, I can't wait to like, see her in person again someday. I had a, a very lovely time with her and um, it cost me $9 to park, but it was well, well worth the $9. Um, and then 99 cents at Apple iTunes and I have $65 and one cent left in my budget. I think I have plans to go see a movie with a friend of mine. I don't know. It just kind of depends on how the rest of my month goes really. I still have some cash in my wallet too, so I might use cash to just kind of blow on whatever I want. I, I feel like I want to spend money, but I also kind of feel like, what would I spend it on? So, I don't know. We'll just see. <laughs> then for my restaurant allocation, I spent $7.83 at McDonald's. This was on Derby Day. I work at Churchill Downs for the Kentucky Derby, and we do not get our employee discount on Oaks Day or Derby Day. So, I picked up two breakfast sandwiches and like an iced coffee and I might have gotten a hash brown too. So not the healthiest choice, but it was the more cost effective choice and it got me through the day and um, I paid $7.83 rather than, you know, $15 for like a hot dog. Uh, I don't think the hot dogs are that bad, but like if I got chicken tenders, that would have been like $15. Then I spent $5 at Churchill Downs. This is with my discount and I don't remember what I got to eat. It might have actually been chicken tenders. This was on another day this was I think this was Mother's Day and I actually worked on that day and then I went out for coffee with a friend on May 14th and I paid $4.98 that leaves $42.19 left in my budget I really have no idea where this budget's gonna go by the end of the month just because I might be spending more money at Churchill Downs as I go out and I try to work or I definitely work for my weight loss allocation I have not spent anything in here and I raised it up from $50 to a hundred because because I was thinking that I was going to sign up for the color run and I love the color run and I really 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 wish that I could do the color run but looking at the date I don't think that it's doable because I think I might actually have to work that day um, and it really stinks but it might actually save me a lot of money in my weight loss allocation for the month of May however I definitely need new shoes um, so that's something that I need to kind of prepare for in my budget. I don't know if that'll happen this month, next month, but it is something that I need to get soon. Part of me feels like the weight loss allocation should be a sinking fund so that I can replace things like shoes, but then part of me feels like I'll just budget it in when it's time for shoes and it's fine and maybe my shoes should actually come from my clothing sinking fund instead of my weight loss allocation. I don't know. It's just kind of like, I don't know where I want the money to come from, where I want it to go. Um, and that's the thing with the budget though. It's up to me to tell it where to go and what to do. And I guess like it really doesn't matter. It's just, it's money that's spent somewhere. And as long as I'm planning for it and prepared for it, then it, does it really matter? So I mentioned earlier that I have used some, some of my sinking funds and if you have seen any of my previous videos, I do Money Mondays where I talk about everything that I spent in the previous week and I've already talked about actually the sinking funds, um, which was posted on Monday, I believe. So I spent $84.79 at Valvoline for an oil change and new windshield wipers and oh my gosh, the windshield wipers are so wonderful. They are so worth the money that I spent to get new ones because um, now when it rains like especially like just a drizzly rain and I can wipe the windshield and then I can see how the windshield like it's amazing it's just one of those things that I just kind of like live with I'm like ah oh, it's raining again I can't see and then finally I was like wait I, I need new windshield wipers because <laughs> I should be able to see the windshield wipers are there to wipe it away not like smear it around because that's what it was doing um, anyway, I also spent eleven sixty five at CVS Pharmacy for sinus medication. I don't know if you can tell, I still have sinus issues. Um, I actually started taking some off-brand Zyrtec that my mom had, and I think that that's working better than the medication that I bought, but 
I have some sinus medication on hand, uh, I don't know, just in case, maybe. And now for my income, I actually can't even have the total along with everything just because it's too long. That's a really, really good thing. So I am on a salary as a kindergarten teacher and I get paid the same exact amount twice a month. I am paid on the 30th and the 15th and I count the 30th as basically the first. So I was paid $11.45.93 on the 30th of April and then 146 that's my capital one interest which I already talked about I was reimbursed for snack uh, for forty seven dollars and eighteen cents I have one more reimbursement that should be coming in for the last of my snacks then I made a cash deposit of five hundred dollars this is both Keeneland and Churchill Downs tips I actually have some more money that I kept back just to kind of have on hand I actually plan to get a pedicure because I have not had a pedicure in a, at least a year and a half and I really, 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 really want one for the summer just to start the summer out. And I feel like the tip money that I made is kind of like free money in a sense because tips aren't guaranteed uh, working at Keelan and Churchill Downs and they are just a bonus surprise. So I feel like holding some money back to spend on anything that I want um, is, is fine as far as that's concerned. I wouldn't do that with my paychecks and things like that that all's all going to debt and I have that kind of calculated in my mind of how much I'll make throughout the year so this $500 is just a bonus then I also had a check from Poshmark and this is money that I earned in the month of April and so that I've actually made a little bit of money in May so far and so that I will cash out in the next month so that's the way that I am working with Poshmark I need to post more things on there I have so much stuff to put up on Poshmark I was paid from Churchill for one thousand fifty seven dollars and seven cents that is for four days of work yes four days of work and then plus all the the tips that I made too which was really 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 nice I got a refund from Scholastic and I think that's because they sent me something that I ordered and it didn't it was like a, a set of stuff and it didn't have one of the books and CDs that I really wanted and I called them and I asked them about it and they said well it was on back order we sent you other books but the books that they sent me are books I already had and so they said well we have this other one in stock we'll send it to you they sent it to me and it was the same replacement it was like the same book was missing and they replaced it with the same books that I already had and just it was a mess so um and I didn't even call them back on that one I think I just kind of did like an online like no I wasn't happy with this purchase and they gave me $15 back so that was nice I guess and then on the 15th I was paid 11 45 93 because that is my regular amount so in total so far I have earned three thousand nine hundred twenty one dollars and sixty seven cents and I can go ahead and tell you with confidence that I will surpass the four thousand dollar mark for income for this month I, I already know that I will I am not going to go through like the main part of my budget. I will save that for my end of the month recap for everything. I want to know what you think I will be able to put towards debt by the end of the month. So leave me a comment down below and guess how much money you think I will be able to put towards debt by the end of May. So I like I'm super excited about my income. My typical budget is based on about $2,200 and I, I already know that I will surpass 4000 by the end of the month, so that's really exciting. Also, in the comments, let me know how your budget is looking for the month of May so far. Also, don't forget to like this video and share it with somebody else who may be struggling with getting out of their student loan debt. And also, don't forget to subscribe if you are not already. That's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.